Have you guys ever been playing Tarkov and thought to yourself, man, I wish there was a way I could make more rubles as a reward for the time I've spent grinding the game? Nope, probably not, just me. Anyways, non-found and raid flea market is back, baby, and holy, this is big. For those of you who are brand new to the game or haven't been playing for many, many years like a lot of us, let me explain why this is such a huge change. First of all, I know this is just an event, but the results of this event could potentially bring the system back to the game. Back in the day when non-found and raid flea existed, this was peak Tarkov in my opinion. The biggest advantage to the system was the fact that you could hop into a raid, run your happy to a high value loot spot, pick up that juicy lead X and shove it straight up your ass. What this means is that no matter if you survive the raid or die, you can sell that Letics on the flea for fat stacks because items do not need to be found in raid to sell them on the flea market. Now I know this system is extremely controversial in the community, some people love it and others hate it. However, you can't beat that feeling of knowing you have an item in your secure container that basically covers the cost of the kit you brought in. What this does, for me at least, is it allows me to play a raid more freely and be more willing to engage in pvp because i know if i die it's not a huge deal now all of that aside there is a huge byproduct that comes along with the non-founded raid flea which is what we're covering in this video you see when you spend hundreds of hours grinding out max traders or in my case light keeper you end up being able to buy in-game items and weapon attachments at a much cheaper cost so we're going to use the cqcm mask as an example unlocking this mask is a major pain in the ass Long story short, you get it late in the Lightkeeper questline, and once you unlock the ability to buy it, you can purchase it from Ragman for around 80k rubles instead of the 200k rubles from the flea market. With the non-found and raid system, I can now buy three CQCM masks per reset and immediately put them up on the flea market, making myself around 380k rubles every time I do this. So not only am I now able to make some extra money, the biggest thing here is that I'm basically being rewarded for all the time and effort I've spent grinding Lightkeeper to unlock this mask. So with that being said, I thought I would go through and show you guys some items that you can buy from the traders each reset and make some extra money by flipping them on the flea market. All right, so jumping straight into this, the first thing I want to point out is my ruble count. I'm sitting at 74 and a half million. This is going to be key because we're going to be buying up all of these items, selling them all and showing you how much money we make. Now, keep in mind that this is not every single item that you can flip. You guys can go through through the traders start looking at prices look it up on the flea market see how much it's selling for the potential here is basically unlimited you guys can spend 10 minutes doing this or you can spend hours it's totally up to you and i've already made a video similar to this in the past about flea market flipping and people absolutely lost their fucking minds they were like oh just play the game well you know what some people just want to make some extra money to afford some kits that way they can go into raid not everybody can have 100 million rubles like you do so if you guys just want to play raids and make money that way be my guest but for those of you that are here to make some free rubles, let's jump right into it. So over here on the flea market, I've got a list of some items that I've favorited in order to make some money. I'm going to go through a couple of them with you, and then I'm just going to buy it all, show you the items, sell it, and then show you how much money we made. So the first one I show you, I want to give you guys a banger right off the rip, something that you can make like a million rubles off. Just, I mean, every time Jaeger resets, you can make a million rubles. It's that simple. And that's going to be the sick case. So from Jaeger, you can barter for a sick case. Now, I've already done some math. It costs you about 2.6 mil to buy all of the items needed for that barter. And then, as you can see, the cheapest one on the flea right now is 3.5 mil. So, you guys can make an absolute ton of money just doing this several times per day as you're playing the game if this is the only one that you want to do out of this whole video then that's still a win so the sick case is probably going to be the biggest money maker on this list but the next two i want to talk about is the death shadow armored mask and the cqcm armored mask now if you guys haven't grinded light keeper and unlocked either of these yet then this will not apply to you but if the found and raid system does end up staying in the game this might be a reason for you guys to grind light keeper so we already talked about about the cqcm you buy it for about 83k and most of the time they're selling for around 200 so you can make about 380k per reset on these and then the death shadow mask you can buy for around 58k and sell them for sometimes around 100k or even a little bit more so those are going to be the three biggest ones for me we're just going to kind of go through and show you some of the small
smaller ones where you make a little bit of profit but when you add them all up it's a lot of money right here we've got this ak pistol grip i believe this is a best in slot pistol grip you can buy it from skier level four i believe it costs about 16 and a half k rubles and you can sell it for almost 30k right here we've got the 25 rounders i personally use a lot of these my main guns at this point in the wipe is the 762 mdr and the spear so i don't do this one to make money i buy these mags to use them but this is a good one they cost 45 dollars per magazine which comes out to about 6500 rubles and as you can see they sell for around 25k another one right here we've got the ar-10 kac qdc you can buy it for 18,000 rubles and sell them for around 35 so i don't want to sit here and bore you guys with all the information we'll kind of go through these and you can look at the prices for yourself if you want to screenshot this list that i have right here you can do that but as we go through you can see that a lot of these you buy them from the traders for really cheap and you sell them on the flea market for a lot more money obviously the non-founded rate system used to be in the game and it was completely normal so one of the things i did when i was a new player was just sit there and flip stuff on the flea market and make an absolute shit ton of money the metal fuel tanks is not showing properly let me jump over to jaeger real quick as you can see you buy it from him for 166k and if you want to throw one up that has 100 right now the cheapest one is 244 so you can make some good money there and then a couple more down here the stark four grips both in black and tan you can kind of do it with labs key cards sometimes these go up but right now there's an event going on where you don't need key cards to get into labs so this one might not be very good for you and then the last one on my list here is just going to be the rk1 this one's not bad at all so these are just a few examples of things you can do as i mentioned earlier just go through your traders see what kind of stuff you have it's going to take a little bit of experimenting but if you find something that you can flip and make money just throw it on your wish list here and it's easy as that so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through this whole list that i have right here buy absolutely everything and list it all on the flea market sell it all and then we will come back and i will show you guys how much money we made flipping just however many items this is i don't know 15 20 items again we're starting at 74 million 500 000 rubles even when we're done with all of this we'll be able to see an accurate number of how much money we made okay so these are all of the items that i bought as you can see our number is down we spent three million two hundred and ninety six thousand three hundred and ninety five rubles to buy all of these items so i'm gonna go ahead and list everything on the fleet once it's all sold we'll come back and i'll show you guys how much money we made okay so everything is sold as you can see we are sitting at just below 71 million the total amount of money that we spent after flea market fees and everything is three million five hundred and thirty seven thousand seven hundred and eight rubles so we're gonna go ahead and collect everything and see how much money we made So we're sitting at almost 77 million if you subtract the 74 and a half million that we started with that means we made 2 million 487 thousand 274 rubles in total and i would say that took about five minutes worth of effort plus a little bit of time waiting for everything to sell on the flea i've still got a couple of things up that didn't sell but it's no big deal it was only like 30k worth of stuff but as you guys can see doing a little bit of flea market flipping can actually make you a decent chunk of change i'd say almost two and a half million for about 10 minutes worth of effort is not bad at all anyways that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you learned something we'll just have to wait and see how this non found and raid system plays out what they decide to do if it comes back to the game i'm not really sure personally i think the game should be how it was maybe for like the first month or two of wipe and then maybe after some time once people get into the late game you open up the flea market to where you can sell just about anything but that is just my own personal opinion and we'll just have to see where they go with it anyways i want to thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one